Here's how to circle the F4I. Clutch up tall and quick, catch idle, trust the dip. So here we go. Get in your staggered position for a circle. Clutch up tall and quick. You caught idle, and now you're just trusting the dip. I'm really not adding any throttle. This is all idle and handbrake right now. This F4I has some nice pull to it. And, you know, she starts to lean in a little too much. You lean into the bike as well. Get that chest close to the handlebars, just like that. If you can circle a Grom, you can circle a big bike. It's the exact same thing except the idle pull is stronger and the bike weighs more. With the big bike, you don't have to add as much throttle blip like you would on the Grom. The idle carries it. The weight is the one big difference. Um, it's harder to manipulate um, and like throw the bike around in the circle. But when I say trust the dip, that initial clutch up the bike is, when it's tall enough, it's gonna wanna dip in. And you just have to trust that because when you panic, you hit a little too much brake and it'll take you, you'll drop the front end down and it'll kind of take you out of the circle. I guess you gotta be a little more careful with like panic braking and like mouse trapping yourself because because this weighs like twice as much as a mini, it'll throw you. It's kind of hard to talk about how to circle this bike because it's exactly the same as the tutorial I did for the Grom. Just get it tall catch idle and then trust the dip the bike will kind of circle on its own like once it gets into that dip it ain't gonna fall over immediately you know if you don't have enough throttle or you give too much brake and you're ready in the dip sure it'll come down but if you just trust that dip and let the idle pull you you'll it just starts to circle by itself and then you you know a little brake if it's going too fast or too far back and then you know, if you do too much brake and the idle can't pull it back, you gotta blip the throttle a little bit. For body position, just have like a neutral, like straight stand up, you know, arms bent comfortable position to circle. And then, you know, if she starts to dip in too fast and you wanna counter that, bring your chest closer to the bars. It'll kinda like push the bike out a little bit. There's some, probably something to physics that I don't know how to explain well enough. I've noticed that like, anytime it starts to dip a little too fast in, I just get close to the bars, chest close to the bars, and I get some more control back to it. Like, see like right there? That's a good example of almost shitting the bed and panicking. It's pretty straightforward to circle this. If you can circle the mini, it's it's the same thing. My my go-to is always to start double back peg. And on the big bike, it's a little bit harder to get it to dip that way. But for me, being lower and straddling the bike gives me more confidence in the beginning. So that's why I like going with that. But, you know, if you're a seat stander guy or you really love staggered and that feels the most comfortable for you, by all means do it that way. Staggered, for me, on the Mini, it was always a little bit funky. It's like sometimes, maybe because it weighs so light, you know, if I clutch up and I like yank the wrong way or whatever and it, you know, doesn't clutch up straight, it throw me off. But because this bike weighs so much now, it almost like, the clutch up is like is perfect. The bike does all the work. So clutch up quick, tall, catch that idle, and then trust the dip. And you'll just start the circle. Hottest stash in the carpet. Yeah, we jumping